You want to tell us a little bit about what the economy revolution is? Oh, yeah, he's describing because his English is a little bit hard to understand at the later part. What he's trying to say is when the nation uh, entire wealth is under a uh, under personal control, which which he meant to say under those a few hundred kleptocrats, then it's going to be a disaster. You know, this is because we had a cultural revolution, which is the uh, atrocity, man-made atrocity from 1966 to 1976. So basically, uh, under Mao Zedong, uh, the cultural revolution, which is a, um, a, a horrific period that destroyed, uh, you know, the ideas, the cultures, the habits and the custom, basically destroyed the very uh, social fabric of the society by closing down schools, by um, accusing uh, people, uh, intellectual people, uh, poor poisoned with, um, with imperialistic thoughts or capitalist thoughts. So these are the people being labeled as uh, enemy of the state. So many of them died and executed. So it was a horrific period of a decade. Okay, so that's what, what we call them cultural revolution. So what he meant by the economic uh, revolution is uh, the same thing, you know, as, as he personally experienced, those communists are using the state power but to rob anybody's wealth, whether you a, a, a working class family or whether you a business kind of a affluent wealthy family, it doesn't matter. Your private company, I rob you. So that is why in China there is no private company. Okay, there's they're all state controlled. It's because every single one belongs to the few people, a, a handful of people on the top. This is what he refers to as the disaster. Because this is economic revolution in China. The reality is this: we don't have a private companies. We don't have business private enter. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, entrepreneurs. We don't have it. We only have white gloves. These are the servants for the CCP kleptocrats. So